Hello, welcome to this lesson of the AC Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, we have this problem on the board, just again, getting additional practice. We have a voltage source, we have a resistor, an inductor, a capacitor, they're all in series. The voltage source is given 100 times the sine of 50T in millivolts. What we want to do is find the uh, current as a function of time running around this guy. Very, very common type of question, very uh, simple really, but you know, like everything else, you have to have practice before you figure out that it's pretty simple. First thing we need to do, um, usually I would say the first thing we need to do is find the impedances of everything. But notice in this case, your source voltage is given as a sign. That is done to confuse you, okay? Because, uh, you know, in this course and 90% of all the books out there, you're going to write all of your sources as a cosine. If you ignore that, you're going to get a big problem, and I'm going to show you what that is right now. So first of all, you need to do two things. You need to convert this to a sine, I'm sorry, into a cosine. And also, this is written in terms of millivolts. We don't want to deal in millivolts. We always want to deal in volts. So let's rewrite V sub S as follows. 0 0.1, because now we're going to deal with volts. We're going to change this to a cosine, 50T. The frequency all, and all stays the same. But in order to go from sine to cosine, you have to subtract 90 degrees. And this is now in volts, not in millivolts. This is really how we could have written the problem, and, and we would proceed from here. But we, we do this sometimes to confuse students and give you a practice to show your stuff. Two things you have to realize. You cannot just use this 100 in your phaser because that's millivolts. And Well, you could do it, but you would have to remember that you had millivolts as a source, and you would have to remember to scale your answer appropriately. Usually I advocate make sure you work in volts, make sure you work in ohms, make sure you work in amps. That way you answer your get, you always know what, what unit you're in. So we write it as 0.1, shifting the decimal three spots.